Meet the Lampodi, more commonly known as fireflies. These amazing beetles use their light to solve that age-old problem of how to find a mate. Many species use a specific pattern of flashes to attract the opposite sex. Femme fatale fireflies exploit this behaviour to solve another age-old problem, how to find a meal. Their solution? Mimicking the mating flashes of other fireflies. Fireflies glow because they have a gene for producing light using a simple chemical reaction. Scientists like me take the bioluminescence gene from the firefly and put it into other creatures, making them glow. And they only glow when they are alive. We put the gene into nasty bacteria to see how well medicines work. If the bacteria are killed, the lights go out. Even better, light travels through flesh and skin. You can see this if you put your hand over the top of a torch. Special cameras can pick up the light from bioluminescent bacteria inside a living mouse. So we can see if an antibiotic is working without having to kill the mouse. These experiments are important because new medicines that work in test tubes often don't work in people, or they have unexpected side effects. Mice and people are more alike than you might think. If a medicine works in a mouse, it's much more likely to work in a person. The world desperately needs new medicines. Take the lung disease tuberculosis, which can be caught by breathing in as few as five bacteria. One in every three people in the world has the TB bacteria in their lungs. About two million people die from TB every year. That's over four and a half thousand people every day. Six people in the time you have been watching this. Better antibiotics could save millions of lives. All thanks to some clever science, laboratory mice and the amorous firefly.